The Oregon Ducks ranked number 13 in the nation, number two in the Pac-12 preseason poll. Their starters, Will Richardson, Davion Harmon, Jacob Young, Quincy Garrier, and Eric Williams. Will Here's Marcus Weathers. His three is no good. They're not bashful. Jacob Young in transition, strokes the three, and the Ducks take an early three-point lead. That'll consistently press throughout the game. It's just a different look, and people have to prepare for them, and when you don't play against it very much, it's an advantage. And Weathers gets the floater to drop with the first bucket of the game for SMU. The pressure, JC catches it inside, hacked up by Richardson. Richardson with the quick hands. Young racing down the floor, tough finish with the left off the window. The Jacob Young show so far. Jacob Young six, SMU two in the early going. JC, nice connection and fine from Bandamel. Beautiful advantage, Bandamel too strong, ball bopping around. Here comes Young racing it down the floor. Garrier, the drive, the harm, the hoop, and the highlight. Things with the turnover. Harmon picks up his dribble, kicks it back outside to Young. Garrier, wide open, pump fake. Ducks working it around. Richardson, that's good. Ducks 5 of 5 from the field. Here's Davis, poke from behind. Another steal by the Ducks. Harmon trying to scale the mountaintop and a kiss off the glass. Wow, that's up right now. Here's Nuttle checking into the game. Zach Nuttle's three, no good. Marcus Weathers able to fight for that, and that'll stop the Oregon run. Four. Baldo Soares into the game for Oregon, replacing Will Richardson, who picked up two quick fouls. Here's Eric Williams knocking down the tough step back three to Oregon run. First miss of the game for the Ducks. They were seven for seven prior to that. Williams, the offensive rebound, jump stop, gets it to go. Doesn't change the offensive efficiency. Six, just under 14 minutes left here in the first half. Press very effective. It's, they're taking almost 10 seconds off the clock before they get into the half court. That's what they need more. Kendrick, really impressive to me. He was the only player, all the conferences in the NCAA last year, he was the only player to lead his team, lead his conference, excuse me, in points and assists. Wow. Going off to the NBA, and so it's a much more balanced Oregon attack this year where multiple guys can score as the defense continues to turn up the pressure. Here's Weathers up and over Kepnoff. Hey, wait, he's choosing not to make the free throw so far tonight. Let's lead by 18. Richardson back on the floor with two fouls. Here's Vandemel, and he gets the first three of the game. Kepnong looking for a teammate. Here's Richardson, defended well by Vandemel, trying to avoid the double team. Sorez inside to Kepnong, trying to go to work, and the soft touch is good. The end. Vandemel rejected by Carrier. Oregon trying to take advantage of numbers. Four on three. Richardson going to his left knifing his way through the lane for the buckets. So the Ducks, 11 of 14, good for 79% midway through the first half. First shot of the game, Stefan Todorovic coming off the bench. He called it perfectly, he avoided the charge, but that caused him to miss the shot. Young too strong, Garrier there to clean things up. Richardson, Harmon, Garrier, Kepnong, and Williams on the floor for Oregon. Kepnong fighting for the rebound again. The physicality of Kepnong has been a huge boom for the Ducks and then follows it up with the soft touch. When you at step three, launches it. Best defensive possession so far for SMU. Here's Michael Weathers trying to attempt the Euro step, but he is down. Takes a what those other coaches have accomplished. The places he's coached at and the leagues he's coached in, it's hard to have a winning season as Quincy Gurrier just overpowers his defender inside. He's back. On at halftime as Oregon just 5 of 12 from the free throw line for 41%, but 70% from the field. Davis the three. And how about Vandemel? Coming out of nowhere for the throwdown. Garrier back out to Young. It's Nathan Biddle setting the screen, getting his first action of the night. And Young with the left hand and another high degree of difficulty laying that the Ducks convert. It's in the paint right now is 18 to 12 in favor of Oregon. That's a bad combination when they're making threes and beating you up in the paint. 
Henry came back and had a lot of other issues to deal with and kind of was a forgotten man at Baylor and most people thought he himself questioned whether he would ever play again. It's great to see him back on the floor. Emmanuel. Young trying to take himself in the paint. Kicks it back outside. Williams, the pump fake, the drive outside. Wide open Richardson and some quality basketball from the Ducks. Wow, the defense had to help because Torovich left his feet. Freshman made a mistake. He went for the pump fake. That broke the defense down. What are you talking about, coach? I just <laughs> feels like it will really be the future of SMU. Well, he likes them, but he had four turnovers against McNeese, and he's halfway there already tonight. Richardson baseline drive. How about the footwork as he splits the defense? Little Phelps, the baseline drive. Back to Davis. He'll line up a three, just rolls out. Rebound to Clark. Easy bucket. Big bucket right there. The you see Phelps applying more pressure on Richardson. Richardson waiting for his opportunity. Shot clock at 15. Trying to work the two man game with Williams. A step back. Gets the friendly bounce of Will Richardson. Wasn't contested. Another turnover. We saw Oregon extending their press right there. As Williams, strong take to the left. The numbers advantage. Richardson up and under. Dumps it off to Young. Oregon trying to scramble. Harmon dishes over to Gary. A corner three. And the analytics love that shot. Two of those strong hands. Well, that's a good move by Marcus Weathers and just can't finish. A heartbreaker for Weathers. Gives Oregon a chance. Richardson, the step back three, and Will Richardson. Uh, they, they're in foul trouble, and we're going to see some zone, half court zone right now. Here's Davis getting inside, flips it up top, and how about the connection? He pulled behind Houston and Memphis, a team many people think can get to the tournament. Right now, it's been all Oregon. Williams. Again, knifing through the lane and a beautiful touch with the left. The contested three in and out. Longer possessions, though. SMU's defense picked up. Vandemel, the transition three. And here comes Weathers flying through the air. He gets and they came out again. That 12 4 run. Uh, just you dig such a big hole. You got to work so hard to get out of that. But <laughs> Williams again. No. SMU highly reliant on the two paternal twins. Kepnog, how about that? Cleaning it up and rocking the rim. Jake, see the help comes across. We've been saying there hasn't been help defense for SMU. Well, that time there was. They helped from the weak side, but there was no rotation back. The guards got to rotate back and easily. <laughs> Sure, Coach Cristobal would have no issues with that as Oregon first forces the turnover. Here's Harmon trying to go up with the right tough take, but there is Eric Williams for the help him with the call. <laughs> Sorez trying to work his way into the paint, and this has been the theme, PJ. Oregon's team. Back to the zone. SMU starting to struggle from the field, now shooting just 39%. Vandemel, on that note, not Richardson at 16 points, his career high is 21, trying to add two more to that. Kevin on fighting for it. Richardson, a fortuitous bounce, follows it up with the tip in. It ended up because it wasn't help. There's help. JC cleaning things up. Not all to bring it back down. Surveys the defense to Dorovich in the corner and to Dorovich, the freshman, with the Maui than it does in Vegas. But Oregon obviously will be taking part in that Maui Invitational on the mainland as Williams, another good take. And to your point, just the one on one capabilities of the Ducks. You don't need American Fork, Utah on the floor for Oregon, one of those four tall furs that we highlighted. Four players for the Ducks, 6'11 or taller. We really love the way these young men started to come together. And how about the vision from the youngster to young? I was just going to say, he skilled both of their bigs. He and Nate Biddle can pass and catch the ball. I know that sounds very simplistic, but they can play away from the basket. Williams the steal up ahead, and Williams with the easy flush. 18 foot. 14 feet of tall fur on the floor as Nate Biddle now on the court and three Oregon players with 15 plus points on the evening as Young gets the land. So Young, Richardson, and Williams all north of 15 on the night. 
and a lot of those yeah, points have really come. Tough. And they were like, are you kidding? Their eyes were like bugging on their head. And still had time for class. That was the most important exactly. part, too. Well, I tell you didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got the degree to prove it. Uh, uh, so this week who was Kendrick Davis. So that was the prolific prep matchup as Biddle gets the best of that. Norovich forced into the miss, and Bucket is good for SMU, but still well below their average of 74 points per game, and that'll do it. The Ducks will move to 2-0, a dominant performance against a quality SMU team. So Oregon passing an early test, and they do it with a mix of offense and defense. They force 16 turnovers of SMU while Oregon shooting 45% from beyond the arc. Well,